Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My experience working at Camp Lahana. That's what this video is. So for those of you who don't know, I moved halfway across the country by myself for the summer. I worked as a videographer at Camp Lahana in Texas. I worked at an all boys summer camp in Texas and I wanted to share my experience with you guys because I moved there not knowing anyone, not knowing what to expect. All I knew was that I was gonna be making videos. That is it. So yeah, I wanted to kind of give you guys my whole experience. So how I got this job, because it's kind of random just to like get a job in Texas when I'm from Delaware. So basically what I did was I went online and I just searched up like videographer internships in summer and that was one of the first ones that popped up. There was a couple like other camps too like around the area because that area had a lot of different camps. They got back to me the day after I applied and wanted to do like a video interview so then we did that like a week later and then I basically got the job. So yeah that's kind of how it happened. I had no idea what to expect like whatsoever. All I knew was that I would be making videos for this camp. I flew out on June 2nd I believe. I know it was a Sunday. I'm pretty sure it was the second, but I flew out, got to San Antonio. I was really excited. I actually wasn't nervous, like, at all. I don't know. I just wasn't nervous. I have no idea why. I was really excited. We got to camp, and it was absolutely beautiful. I vlogged, like, that whole day. So if you guys want to go check out that vlog of, like, my first look at the camp, then go check that out. I think it's called, like, I'm in Texas for the summer or something like that. I met four people that day, and they were all really nice. I'm not gonna lie, the first week was absolutely awful. We had staff training, and I remember one day we literally had to wake up at, like, six or seven, I don't know, like, kind of early, and we did stuff all day long, like, all day long with not really any breaks besides like meals and stuff and I remember I was like oh my god this is awful I was like so upset the whole first week all of that was not very fun once that was done though it was a lot better we had opening day all of the kids came and I still didn't exactly know like what exactly I was doing it was all kind of like I don't know just so like not overwhelming but confusing I guess I kind of went around the whole camp and got to know like where everything is and kind of what's going on with the camp. It was a very like old-fashioned structured camp. Like they played bugles, like Reveille bugles, like dun 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 like the whole the whole nine yards. So yeah, every morning we woke up at 8 a.m. to the bugle to Reveille Revel Reveille and you know I'm just gonna give you guys a day in the life like timings and whatnot because you know why not I don't even know where this video is going I'm just kind of rambling on so here you go this was for Monday through Saturday Sunday's a little different I'll get into that later but basically every day Reveille at 8 o'clock in the morning we would have breakfast like first come to breakfast at like 8 30 ish and then actually I think it was 8 20 I don't know something like that we'd have breakfast after breakfast we would have cabin cleanup and all of the kids would have, they had lived, they lived in like cabins, so they would have to go and clean up their cabin. And then after that, we would have three activities. Each one was 50 minutes, so they would have like, they picked like 10 activities, so they would have five every other day. So like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they would have five, and then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, they would have a different five. After that, we had lunch, and then after that, we had free time from two to four every day, and then we had commissary. Oh, I forgot, cookie line. We had cookie line after second class like after the second activity and going into third and then from 4 to 4 30 we had commissary so ice cream that was my favorite part of the day and then they had their last two activities and we had dinner and then after dinner we had like ranch games and like just like a whole different just whatever activities they had for that night where all the kids would play together like on the fields and like do something all together there were two ranches so basically like two teams kind of of kids and they would like pick from a hat and like see what branch they're on so there was Maltese and there were the W's running W's and I never chose a ranch I just didn't want to and they would compete throughout the whole summer to gain points and to like go against each other in the ranch games sometimes they would have all ranch games where they had like flags they had like chants and then they would play games and rack up their points so yeah at the end of each term they would have like the winning ranch of the term and that was a whole big celebration but anyways they would do that and then after that we would basically just shower and go to bed now Sundays were a little different Sundays we woke up at 9 instead of 8 which was really nice oh my god my foot 
fell asleep completely. We had continental breakfast and then we had Sunday school for like a little bit and then free time up until lunch after that rest period and then some kind of like ranch games and then dinner and then we had this thing called Sunday night recognition which is basically like recognizing kids. We had like this outdoor theater and we would go down there and recognize different kids from all the activities and just have them stand up in front of everyone and talk about the good things they did. So that was basically like what we did every day. Um, it would be different sometimes like we had like a paint war one day so that took up the whole like afternoon and like water games and like that kind of thing but like that was like the like kind of structure for a normal day. So going into my job more specifically I was not part of an activity so I did not have to stay at the same place all day which was my absolute favorite part of my job. I could go wherever I wanted on camp whenever I wanted. I was one of the only people that could actually move around camp. So a day for me would be I would wake up, I would go to breakfast and then during cabin cleanup there's not really a lot to film since we're just cleaning and that's like really boring. So I would usually just like edit, spend that time to kind of like plan out what I want to do that day and like what I want to film because I kind of made my own schedule which was really nice because I like making my own schedule. During that time I would just plan what I want to film and like I usually did it so that I wouldn't have to walk around the whole camp every single day. I would usually just take like one side of camp, film everything there, and then like the next day do the other side and like that kind of thing. And then when they actually get to their activities, I would go out and I would film them at their activities. So I had to make two videos a week. I had to make a montage, which is basically like like you guys know what a montage is. It was a song's length, so I got to choose any song that I want and just put the clips together. I usually slow down the clips because it makes them look a lot better. Um, and then I also had to make a special video, which is a video that they post on Facebook and stuff. So like one time I did like, uh, like a sped up thing. So I just put the camera on the tripod in different parts of camp and just let it roll and then sped it up and it looked pretty cool. So yeah, that was my job. I also had to do some social media stuff. So I had to make like a Father's Day video and I had to make like a Halloween video and that, that kind of stuff so they could post it throughout the year. But yeah, that was basically my job and I really liked it. I liked how I could be creative in my job and how I could go to wherever I want, like I said before. All right, so moving on from my actual job, I loved the people there, you guys. I loved everyone there. They were all so nice and it was so easy to make friends. Usually it's like kind of nerve, not nerve wracking, but like a little hard to make friends when you don't know anyone, but it just came so naturally and I got a group of friends that I really liked and we would always go out on like our off nights and stuff and just hang out and go to dinner, go to Walmart. We went to Walmart a lot. <laughs> the camp was very just like fun. Like it was very fun and it was different than what I expected. Like I didn't really know what to expect, but it was different than whatever that was. They had their own language, like the Camp Lahana language. When I first went into camp, they were saying all of these different stuff like Maltese, Running W, Angle Ball, Filthy Foot, like all of these weird words. And I was just like, what are we talking about? But it's all these like cool traditions. They're a very like tradition-y kind of camp. Some of the people that have been working there have literally been there since they were six years old. So they would go in as a camper and then become a counselor in training and then become an actual counselor. They've been there like their whole life, which is absolutely insane. One thing that I did not like about this camp, I don't know like if it's like this for other camps because I've never worked at another camp besides this one. We did not get a lot of off time. So basically how off time worked was you would either you were either an odd or an even. So like the second term I was an odd. I kind of just flipped you guys off right there. Sorry. The second term I was an odd. So basically every odd day. So like July 1st, July 3rd, July 5th, I would have my night off. That was after dinner until 1 a.m. We had to be back on campgrounds and signed in by 1 a.m. and we had to sign out whenever we were leaving camp. And then on the even days, I would have rest period off, so two to four. So some days I would only have two hours off and even on our nights off, we would still have to be back by 1 a.m., which is not a lot of time. It's like, what, like four or five hours? I wish that we had like one whole day off a week. I don't know if that's like, if, like, if that's crazy or something in like, camp world or whatever but I really just wanted like one day off a week where I could actually go out and like explore Texas because I feel like I was always at the camp you know what I mean another thing I didn't like was that there were just a lot of rules like I feel like so silly for saying that like obviously there are 
are gonna be a lot of rules at camp. Some rules that I thought were absolutely ridiculous, in my opinion. Like, I'm sorry, but some of them I just did not agree with. I mean, I followed them anyways because I had to, um, but some of them I just did not agree with. I was very happy to come home and to just, like, be able to, like, if I want to, like, you know, go out to McDonald's at 3 in the morning, I can do that at home, but I couldn't do that at camp. One of my favorite things about camp were all of the pranks. Yeah, pranks. People did pranks all the time. Some of them were, some of them went a little too far. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but like, whatever. One of them, like, one night, someone stole one of the, uh, like, one of my boss's mopeds and dragged it all the way across camp at like, I don't know, two, three in the morning when everyone was asleep and like left it at the front gate. And then the next morning they had everyone up like looking for the moped. <laughs> My bosses were absolutely pissed, but I kind of thought it was funny. <laughs> um, but like, I like it went too far, but I still thought it was funny because I'm just, I don't know. I'm immature, okay? There, I said it. I'm immature. I thought it was funny. Just a lot of pranks happened, and I just thought it was great. Like, they moved a golf cart up on the ping pong tables one day and I've heard about pranks like in the past where they would move like the staff table in the like cafeteria kind of place all the way out to the field <laughs> like it was just so funny I love the whole like prank you know scene at camp I just thought it was awesome <laughs> so if you guys saw one of my last Texas vlogs I forget I think it was like my last week in Texas or something like that I actually ended up leaving camp early something happened and i explained it kind of in my vlog but i don't i can't like i don't know if i'm actually like allowed to say what happened so i'm not going to um but basically something bad happened and a lot of the people were upset and i was really upset a lot of the girls like left camp early including me so i left like five days early i think i went to go see with crystal in san antonio which really just worked out perfectly. I don't know. I don't think I'm allowed to talk about that because it was kind of a big deal. My job there kind of ended badly, but other than that, it was a really good job. I really enjoyed it. I just wish it didn't end like it did. Even though I really enjoy this job and all the people there, I will not be returning. I'm just one of those kinds of people where I like doing different things. I like moving around, going to different places, experiencing new things. I'm not the kind of person to stay in the same place for a very long time. Like some of the people there I've mentioned before have been there since they were like six years old and are now like 19, 20, 21 years old. And that's just like crazy to me. Like I could not do that. I like change i don't like the same thing every single day i kind of got like a little crazy it was like all very repetitive at camp like i could do it for that summer because it was new and exciting but like i could not stay at the same place for that long so that is why i will not be returning i love this job so much and like i told my boss i love this job but i'm just i'm the kind of person that i like change i like moving i like doing different things all the time and that's just who i am so yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you're watching this and you have a boy ages 6 through 15 and you want a cool summer camp check out camp lahana in um hunt texas so yeah check it out i think it's just lahana.com go check it out i'll promote the camp i guess a little bit so yeah go check it out your kid will have fun i promise your kid will have so much fun. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you want more videos from me. And check out my vlog channel. I'm going back to college soon. So there's going to be a lot of college vlogs coming up, you guys. Oh, yeah. That is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you later.